Hello pirates! Welcome to the sixth day of our favorite sew along. Today we'll be adding, well, it's actually our last sewing day, today we'll be adding the uh, scoop neck band or the v-neck band. I've chosen to do the v-neck band with mine, but fear not, there's videos for both of them already. Uh, if you just um, click on the links that I'm going to post within this blog for the um, uh, V-neck bands 101 or crew neck bands 101, I have links, uh, I have videos for, on both of those blogs and it's actually, I'm using actually the favorite tee for both of them. So you're, you're already covered either way, uh, either one of the options you're choosing. So for now, let's see, we, I have the neck band that I actually pressed long uh, on the length lengthwise i pressed it uh, wrong sides together i'm gonna open it now unfold it and make sure i do my marks markings on it on the wrong side so i have my fabric folded on the wrong side and i have my um mark here i did not cut this off because when you cut your fabric you want this straight but then you want it folded for uh, the marking so i just cut a little bit off so i can fold it easily now i'm gonna go ahead and do my markings i'm using taylor's chalk blue so i can see it markings done if you if you have a pen like a fabric pen that washes away you can do that so I have that um, on the fabric already so I'm gonna go to my sewing machine and make my V uh, neck using the markings that I did all right so i'm gonna follow the markings that i did earlier and just do a straight stitch pivot and another straight stitch If you find that your machine does not like your knits, one tip that I always give knit sewers that are using a sewing machine, make sure you use a little bit of water soluble stabilizer and your machine will just fly through it. I'm gonna be snipping the V that I made and here at the curve I'm gonna do a big snip there almost to the stitch without snipping my stitch as close as I can get it without snipping it so now because my fabric is already pressed it's going to be very easy to turn you can open your uh, seams so there is no bulk there you go and that's one side the other side and you have a beautiful neckband done that we need to attach to our dress because it's pre-pressed it stays so easily so right now we're gonna just mark the center back I'm matching the notches and now I have my center back because that's going to be matched with the dress you don't need to mark the quarters for this pattern that's where the notches are you will just be matching these notches 
with the ones on the neck uh, line of the dress. So let me grab the dress. A very important step to do when you're doing a V neck neckline is to snip the V point here about three eighths of an inch. So this, I'm going to do a little snip about three eighths of an inch. And I almost always attach my, yeah, so you can see it, the snip. I almost always attach my neck bands with the serger. When I do a V neck, it's the only exception to the rule. I like to attach the V part of the neck with a sewing machine and then uh, the rest with the serger. But the V point about two inches on each side, I, I do that with a sewing machine. So, because um, it, it looks cleaner and it's much easier to maneuver than, um, than the serger. So, I was speaking what's the right side or what's the wrong side. It doesn't really matter for the neck band. Match, match your V to the V of the, like the V that you just snipped to the, the V of the neck band so that it forms somewhat of a rhombus. I'm trying to get it as close to the camera. And this is how you're gonna be pinning it in place. And then I'm gonna be pinning on the side about an inch and a half to two inches on each side. And that is all that I'm going to be doing with the sewing machine. I'll do the rest with the circle. So I'm pinning a little bit here. Of course, if you're if you don't use a serger with this project, you'll be doing the whole uh, neck band with your sewing machine. But since I plan on using a serger, I'm doing that's how I usually do my V-necks. About two inches here. That's all I've pinned. And this one is the top. It's a V point. So I'm going to go and following a half an inch seam allowance. I'm going to do a triple stretch stitch. Making sure that I keep the V of the neck band the same as the V of the neckline. And when you reach that point, go slow, pivot, and go on the other side of the neckline. Obviously keeping the same seam allowance. All right, so I have a couple of inches done on both sides and then I'm done. I'm done with the sewing machine. So let me see if you guys can see this. So this is how it looks with just a V. Now, take the rest of your neck band and find the back, the center back of your uh, neckline. So for that, you just match the shoulder seams, fold, and this will be your center back. So I have my center back here. So I'm gonna bring my neck band, make sure it doesn't twist and match the center backs. So it's very important that it doesn't twist. 
and pin it in place. So I have my center back. Then you go to the notches and match, see, match your notches. So you have this on the neckband and this on the dress. And then you go ahead and match those and pin it in place. We'll be cutting those off when we sew it, those V notches. So I have those matched. And I'm going to add one or two clips more in between. Stretch your neckband to match the neckline and clip in place so it's evenly distributed. pinned in place. I'm gonna go to my serger. You can do the, again the next step you can do with your sewing machine using a zigzag stitch or um, triple stretch stitch and following the same half an inch seam allowance. I'll be doing this step with my um, serger. Unlike the, uh, the scoop neck, neck band, I'm going to be starting at the V because I want to have that crisp V. I'll start my, my sewing there, not at uh, the back of the, the shirt. And so with a half an inch seam allowance, stretching the neck band and not the shirt. Just the neck band. And obviously, once you remove a quarter of an inch with your knife, you'll also be removing those knots. going slower than I normally would so you guys can see to be finishing really nicely here on the same spot still my V and there you go see the V is still there nice and crisp I'm just gonna be removing this thread tail neckband is almost done Let's see how gorgeous it is all you have to do now is top stitch if you want if not just give it a good press I like to top stitch on my neckband so I'm definitely going to be doing that and then steam press it in place for top stitching again you can use twin needles or um your sewing machine same thing as before the only difference uh, that i wanted to tell you is that just like when sewing it i'm going to be starting at the um, set, uh, the front instead of the back so for top stitching i'll start from the v here go all the way around and end where I started in the front. That gives me a crisp V. Again, this 
things that scrap your bags can do with your sewing machine if you want. Some people skip it all together. I'm not, I'm not one of those people. I am always top stitching my neck bands. I find that this gives me the most finished and polished look on my shirts. at the finish line and I'm going to be finishing exactly where I started perfect this is it for the sew along I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did and you've sewn yourself a lot of staple t-shirts or dresses and make sure you guys add your finished uh, finished favorites or faveties to the album in the group so I can uh, so we can select some winners tomorrow there you go all done and top stitched now all you have to do is give it a good steam press and you are all set look at that beautiful neckband v-neck amazing all right guys don't forget to post your pictures you have until tomorrow evening and um, then we'll be announcing the winner on the blog either Sunday evening or maybe Monday morning uh, well depending on how we'll, much we'll keep this open for uh, how, uh, how late I'll still be before I'll still be awake before I close the album for the for the entries so good luck and I can't wait to see all of your creations bye